Fuse is burning! Fuse is burning! Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome back to today's Wild Rift video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Bomber Man himself, Ziggs. Now, we have seen a lot of Ziggs being played in the Wild Rift tournament. It is still 100% pick or banned in the tournament. And it's, you know, it's no surprise really. It's, you know, still in my opinion, the strongest champion in the whole game. But... With this one, we're going to be taking a look at a bit, a bit of a different build, and we're going to be taking a look at Dragon Lane Ziggs down in the bot lane, as you might call it if you're from PC League of Legends. Now, you've been seeing Ziggs flex a lot in Horizon Cup. Sometimes you've seen it in mid lane, sometimes you've seen it in a bot lane as well. And with loads of different builds as well, you've seen this build with the Seraph's Embrace Ludens. We've seen Rod of Ages Ziggs been played by Hack, most, uh, most importantly. Uh, we've been seeing Luden's Echo Rush with Ziggs as well with Death Cap. We've been seeing loads of different builds, loads of different positions that Ziggs is being played. But yeah, we're going to be looking more towards the bot lane. Now, in my opinion, Ziggs can work down in the bot lane. You're not going to be having as much lane pressure as other AD carry champions down in the bot lane. But it does give you a bit of a source of AP damage if you need it. Say, for example, you're in the solo queue game, you're on the last pick, and your whole team is AD. Then you kind of have to pick a AP champion down in the bot lane. And Ziggs might be your go-to champion for that. He's really easy to play. He's really, really strong. He takes towers really quickly as well. And yeah, like, like I said, he's still 100% pick and ban rate in the Horizon Cup. All the way up now until the semi-finals. He's always, most of the time first picked as well if he is up and available on the blue side yeah it's crazy you know uh you know teams like dkg have been playing zigs down in the bot lane uh saying goku as well sbtc so you know top teams in the world are still playing zigs down in the bot lane and we're going to be taking a look at him as well with this build but with this build it's a bit of a different build to what you might originally see with zigs we have the archangel staff or seraph's embrace as you might call it the upgraded version as the first item uh, this is your tier item that you're going to be stacking up. So this is kind of like a double mana build. Now, the benefits of going, you know, the Archangel Staff plus the Luden's Echo is that one, you pretty much have infinite mana. So you can pretty much throw as many bombs as you can. Two, it has probably the most ability haste out of any other item du uh, duo in the entire game. And three, you just do a lot of damage as well. So the extra mana that you get from Luden's Echo will actually work with Archangel's Staff as well. And overall, it's just a, a crazy item combo that you should definitely give a try. It is a bit slow. It does let you, doesn't make you as strong in the early game because you will be just going for the Archangel Staff first item. So it doesn't give you a lot of damage. But if you can scale it up, if you can get the Seraph's Embrace, if you can get the Luden's Echo, and after that, you also have the Death Cap as well. Once you get these three items, Ziggs becomes really, really powerful. Obviously, um, the Rebellion's Death Cap gives you a lot of AP, gives you overall increased percentage AP as well, which is really, really nice. You can also go for the Lucidity Boots as well. You don't have to go Lucidity Boots because you have a lot of um, a lot of ability haste from Luden's Echo and Archangel Staff, but you can go Lucidity Boots as well. But you can go for more defensive boots if you need to. Say if you're against like a lot of an, if you're against a lot of AD assassins, you can go for maybe ninja tabbies or I think they're called plated steel caps or whatever they're called now. Can't remember. I'm still thinking of the old league names, but um, yeah, they can still work. You know, completely fine. Um, just depending on obviously the situation of the game. Then after death camp, you have the void staff as well. Again, more AP and magic penetration. And then you have Morella Nomicon as a last item. You can go for the Oblivion Orb earlier if you do want to get that little bit of healing reduction earlier. But Morella Nomicon is normally your last item that you build. Uh, boost upgrades. Most of the time you go for Stasis Enchant as well. Because the only bad thing about Ziggs is you don't have a lot of mobility except for really your second ability. But I wouldn't really call that an escape tool. You can be caught out quite a bit as Ziggs. You, can, you do have to play careful. You do have to play safe. Most of the time, you will just be throwing out your bombs. You will be clearing waves. You'll just be doing a lot of damage from the back line. But that's what makes Ziggs so powerful. On to the runes. We have Eric as your first rune. This just helps a lot with what I just said. You'll be staying back a lot, dealing a lot of poke damage. So Eric is a great rune for Ziggs. Brutal, another really, really good um, rune for Ziggs. Gives you that little bit of AP and magic penetration early on. Bone plating, again, helps you against some assassins if you need it. You can go for like Hunter Titan if you're against a lot of um, 
a lot of champions that have a lot of crowd control or second wind if you feel like you're going to get poked down by the enemy champions this kind of rune can be flexed around and the last one sweet tooth again just some more honey fruit for healing and more gold as well in your back pocket in terms of spells you can go uh, you can go flash well you should go flash all of the time with pretty much every single champion in the game then your second spell most of the time you want to go barrier again it protects you again you might see sometimes in the horizon cup is that mid laners are running exhaust this is mainly to counter assassins like zed that's being played diana akali exhaust can work pretty well on ziggs you know if you get dove on by a diana or if the diana is about to ultimate you can use the exhaust button and diana will deal significantly less damage same with the zed ultimate as well with the combo so you can go for exhaust if you want to but most of the time you still want to go for that flash barrier combo but yeah this is ziggs this is a new build that we've been seeing in the horizon comp been kind of they're kind of rising in popularity quite a bit we're going to be seeing them in the uh, seeing it in the semi-finals as well uh, at the time you're probably watching this video, I will be live on Twitch co-streaming the semi-finals of the Horizon Cup. So make sure you tune into that. Make sure you come on by and you watch me, Darkbreaker, Snitch, Leroy. We've all been analysing the games. We've all been having an absolute blast with the Horizon Cup. Um, it's been one of my favourite tournaments to watch for sure. It's been the best Wild Rift tournament, definitely. And for a first international tournament for... Uh, wild rift and even though it's not really called worlds kind of their first international tournament i think it's been you know pretty flawless it's been very very fun and enjoyable to watch overall yeah hopefully you give this a try down in the bot lane as always enjoy the gameplay i'll see you all very soon peace explosion first questions later <laughs> Come on, come on, come on! <laughs>